Coming up on This Week in Torrance, a local hospital burn center thanks first responders for assistance in saving patients. And a new brewery is opening with a restaurant owned by a famous actor. We've got the details. Plus, looking to upgrade or replace your old mattress? There's a new business in town that can help you do that. Then how clean do you think the California ocean is? You'll have to stick around to find out. These stories and much more just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. My co-anchor, Jen Chun, has the week off. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. July is all about appreciating parks and recreation in the community. At the recent city council meeting, council members made the proclamation asking residents to enjoy and recognize the social, physical, mental, economic, and other benefits from participation in programs offered by the Torrance Community Services Department. Statistics show that 98% of California households visit a local park at least once a year and 50% of households participate in an organized recreation program. Here in Torrance, the city has parks, open spaces, sports fields, tennis courts, and many other facilities. The city is hosting its summer parks program through August 16th. Recreation staff will be leading and supervising daily activities and crafts. It takes place at various parks Monday through Friday. To find out which parks are participating, head to torrentca.gov slash parks. Well, the Torrance Police Department released its 2018 annual report to the community. The report is a condensed compilation of the work officers and civilian staff performed during that time. It provided information for the Special Operations Bureau, Patrol Bureau, where they shared details about the in-car and body-worn cameras along with their unmanned aircraft systems. In 2018, Torrance Police participated in various community events such as Coffee with a Cop, Police and Fire Holiday Toy Drive, Partners in Policing and National Night Out, to name just a few. Last year, the Torrance Mental Evaluation Team, a program that offers effective options and care to those who are experiencing a mental health crisis, took more than 1,000 calls for services. 44 firearms were also taken into protective custody, and the team performed more than 200 psychological evaluations. Other topics highlighted in the report was about their canine team, coyote management team, and crime statistics in the state. To look at the detailed report, go to torrentca.gov. The city of Torrance is accepting public comments on a large residential development project. Now, through August 5th, the city is welcoming input on comments on the Solana Residential Development Project. It's part of the 45-day public review period. If you are interested in sharing a comment, please use the subject Solana Residential Development Project. The site is located on more than 24 acres at the southwest corner of Hawthorne Boulevard and Via Valamonte. They proposed 248 units in five-story buildings. A draft environmental impact report shows that measures will be taken to ensure the project will not result in any significant adverse effects on the environment. To leave feedback, email Oscar Martinez at omartinez at torrentca.gov. A recent public hearing was packed as air quality officials made a decision on a heated topic. The South Coast Air Quality Management District hosted a community meeting where the refinery committee voted three to two to not ban the use of a controversial chemical. The motion asked agency staff to develop agreements with the Torrance Refining Company and the Wilmington Refinery that would allow them to keep using modified hydrofluoric acid with increased safety measures. There were hours of testimony from South Bay residents, special interest groups, and environmentalists Free bus service was provided by Los Angeles Board of Supervisor Janice Hahn. To watch the full meeting, go to aqmd.gov. According to a popular online site, Torrance was ranked one of the top cities in the country where you can get the most for your money. Thrillist, an online media website covering food, drink, travel, and entertainment, put Torrance as number 14 among a list of top 25 cities in the U.S. where you get the most bang for your buck. The team at the financial advice website, Smart Asset, decided to look into which cities are the most undervalued in the country. 189 of the most populous American cities were measured using nine different metrics ranging from the home value per square foot to unemployment rates. 
Taking the top ranking was Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you ever wondered how clean your local beaches are in California, an environmental advocacy nonprofit is letting the community know. According to the 29th Annual Beach Report card by Heal the Bay, beaches were evaluated by their water quality and were given a grade based on levels of weekly bacterial pollution in the ocean. Five beaches in Southern California made it on the year's, this year's list of beach bummers. Only 54% of the beaches received an A or B grade during the wet weather, which is an 8 percentage point decrease from the state's five-year average. 94% of the 500 California beaches monitored by Heal the Bay received an A or B grade for the busy summer season. Torrance Beach received an A plus all around. In Southern California, 95% of the beaches received A's or B's for the summer dry grades. The annual beach report card includes an analysis of water quality for three time periods. Well, if you have a talent you want to show off, then there is a show you'll want to try out for. The popular competition is back again. South Bay's Got Talent is returning to Torrance. You have until August 5th to submit an uh, audi audition application for the 6th Annual Regional Talent Competition. It's open to all ages and genres of performances. The show takes place on September 28th, and the audience will help decide the winner. Some of the types of performances listed on the audition form include modern, contemporary dance, ballet, vocal acting, magic, and juggling, to name a few. Well, a competition that lets youth baseball players get a taste of the big league is now underway. A couple of Torrance competitors from the Torrance batting cages participated in the pitch, hit, and run competition hosted by the MLB at Dodger Stadium. Owen Martin in the 13 to 14 year old division took first place. They are still waiting to see if his scores are high enough to send him to the MLB All-Star Game in July. Major League Baseball pitch, hit, and run is a free one-day event for boys and girls ages 7 through 14 years old. Participants had the opportunity to advance through four levels of competition, including locals, sectionals, team championships, and the national finals during MLB All-Star Week. Well, the next time you are traveling through the Los Angeles airport, you may hear live tunes from a piano. In honor of World Music Day, the airport held a musical celebration. They debuted two new Kawhi G40 EP manual and self-playing baby grand pianos. They are located in the Terminal 4 connector near the Tom Bradley International Terminal and on the upper level of Terminal 7. Airport officials said music is a universal language and it's the mission of the Los Angeles World Airports to connect people, places and cultures. Employees from the TSA Chorus, United Airlines and the LAWA all performed piano and vocal selections. LAX is the fourth busiest airport in the world. Still ahead, local first responders get a big thank you from Torrance Memorial Medical Center's Burns Center. Plus, looking to get a better night's sleep? There is a new business that can help you do just that. We'll be back. Don't go away. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Local first responders were given praise and thank yous by Torch Memorial Medical Center staff and patients. The third annual First Responders Appreciation Brunch invited South Bay firefighters who are an integral part of saving burn victims' lives. 
Torrance Memorial Burn Center staff says it's an opportunity to also build relationships with the firefighters who rescue the patients they perform surgery on. Burn survivors also attended the community event. The Torrance Memorial Burn Center is a verified facility with the American Burn Association and is one of three, only three in Los Angeles County. It's important that we acknowledge that for people who get burned, they have to be brought to our facility and this is a way to honor not only those who have sustained injuries and have come up through those, but then those who have actually brought them to our attention, our first responders, our firefighters, and all the great community service that they do. The fire department really helps our patients to get through this really, really difficult time of their life. And they also sponsor these patients in all sorts of the ways, financially, physically, emotionally, and help the family through this most difficult time. And we want to take this opportunity just to say thank you, fire department. This year, for the first time, they started the tradition of honoring a firefighter whose outreach has touched someone. Captain Robert Taylor was remembered for his service and commitment to fire safety. He worked at Chevron El Segundo Refinery Fire Department for more than 20 years. His three children accepted a plaque in his memory. He was described as selfless and kind and someone who touched so many lives. The center has grown to have 12 beds and features new technology. It serves both pediatric and adult patients, with the youngest being just two days old. The center has been in existence since the 1970s. We want to be here in person just so that we can show that we're one community and show that we're here for the South Bay as well as everywhere else in um, L.A. County and Orange County as well. Yeah, it feels good. You know, we're always honored to uh, be a part of this community, serve it in any way that we can. Um, so it's great to be here out in the community uh, interacting with people that we work with on a daily basis, kind of outside of the normal setting. So it feels good. They consider it doing their job, uh, but we know as citizens how important uh, the responses are to an emergency situation, whether it's a, a fire burn a situation or, or it's just uh, something happening uh, in, in a neighborhood. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for firefighters to hear from the community, from those who have benefited by their services and make them uh, feel a little special today. A festival debuting arts in the city of Torrance was a huge success once again this year. The South Bay Festival of the Arts was brought back for the third year. Three stages across the Torrance Cultural Arts Center had performances throughout the day. The Torino Plaza had diverse items on sale along with an art exhibit. The free event introduces the art programs across the city and teaches people what the arts are all about. There was not only entertainment by special guests, such as America's Got Talent finalist Sarah Carson and Hero, other guests included magician Christopher Hart, storyteller and author Angie Flores, and tunes from Baroque music. This year, for the first time, there was a singer-songwriter showcasing local original music. They had an app where attendees could keep up with the schedule. They have something for everyone. I mean, you can tie-dye a t-shirt, you can buy art, you can you know, vote for your favorite artist, you can see quality entertainment. It's all the, it's bringing the community together in the arts, which is what we're all about. Attendees also had lots of food and drink options to choose from, including Lisa's Cafe and Bakery, Luna Grill, Truxton's American Bistro, Chato Tea Room, and Red Car Brewery, to name a few. For those who were returning, they shared why this festival is important to them. Community. Community, community, community. Torrance is amazing, and I love that they embrace, you know, the, the children and the musicians and the artists and the families. For me, it's a great, I believe in the arts, and we need to make sure that the community is exposed to the arts. And the fact that there are people here, not just from the immediate community, but people as far away as Bakersfield, I think it's great to get to know what we have to offer in the South Bay. To keep up to date with Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation events, head to torrancearts.org. A business serving customers nationwide opened its doors in Torrance recently. Having been open for a month now, Sleep Number celebrated its official grand opening with the community. It's in the Torrance Town Center at the northeast corner of Crenshaw Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. Staff says if you're looking to purchase blankets, sheets to mattresses, Sleep Number has it all. 
The company is known for their unique air technology mattresses and pride themselves on helping customers purchase one that is based on their individual needs. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed lets you choose your ideal firmness, comfort, and support on each side. The company also has Sleep IQ technology that shows how well you sleep. We cannot be happier with the location. We waited three years to get into the city of Torrance. Uh, and this location actually has been on the, on the radar for three years. So here we are, and we're so excited to finally be in business and uh, helping everybody in the community of Torrance. There are more than 580 sleep number stores located in the United States. Well, Torrance is brewing with businesses offering versatile flavors of beer, and you can add a new one to that list. Comedian and actor George Lopez is partnering with South Bay restaurateur Michael Zisnes for a new concept called the Brews Hall at Delamo. Building permits for the new business were cleared and are ready to be issued for the 10,000 square foot building. The new business will feature a brewery and restaurant. It will house 17 fermenting vessels, 12 serving vessels, plus the tap system. The restaurant is George Lopez's Chigon Kitchen. The brewery will take the place of a former CrossFit location just east of Delamo Fashion Center. They are slated to open on Labor Day. Well, a historic business in Torrance may have future plans to close their doors, but owners say they are not leaving anytime soon. Palos Verdes Bowl officials say they want the community to know that their business is still open to the public and won't be closing down for a while. They will remain open until at least the first of the year or even longer. The family-friendly family friendly bowling alley has been around since 1958. Once they officially close, the Chick-fil-A, Aldi, and Connecticut Federal Credit Union have plans to move in. Owners say they are thankful for the old and new customers who have shown support and loyalty over the years. They are located at 24600 Crenshaw Boulevard. They are open from Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to midnight. Friday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m., and Sunday, 8 a.m. to midnight. Well, whether you're shopping online or at your favorite retailer, an online marketplace shared their latest reports comparing prices between Amazon, Target, and Walmart. And you might be surprised to hear what they found. Lindy DU compared a basket of 50 goods from Amazon, Walmart, and Target to see which store was the cheapest. There were several categories, including home goods, food and beverage, kitchen and appliances, technology, entertainment, and miscellaneous items. They found Amazon is cheaper than Target, but is more expensive than Walmart. The only category where both Walmart and Target beat out Amazon on price was in the food and beverage group. Walmart did come in cheapest in their technology and entertainment department. In the items categorized as kitchen appliances out of the eight items compared, Walmart was 9.3% more expensive in total than Amazon. A Charbroil Classic two-burner gas grill is significantly pricier at Walmart, charging customers $109, whereas it cost $83 to $89 at Amazon and Target. For example, Lysol disinfecting wipes were 16% more expensive at Target and 5% more expensive at Walmart, making it cheapest to buy at Amazon. Through the report, they found the traditional brick and mortar and the e-commerce giant have become smaller and smaller. When you are planning to shop, check prices online, look for deals and coupons. This will help you save money in the long run. As 4th of July approaches, local law enforcement is reminding residents in Torrance the use of fireworks or selling them is illegal in the city. Despite fireworks being sold in surrounding cities, in Torrance, fireworks sales are not allowed. The city of Torrance strictly regulates the possession and use of fireworks. It also regulates under city code the possession, storage, offering for sale, exposing for sale, selling at retail, giving, furnishing, using, or exploding any fireworks within the city. The first offense for possessing, storing, selling, or exploding any fireworks is a $100 fine. The Torrance Police Department will have additional officers on patrol during the holiday period looking for drivers suspected of driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Police say some safety tips are to always have a sober driver take you home, report drunk drivers, and ensure prescription drugs won't impact your driving. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. Thank you so much for joining us. 
and we'll see you next time.